It's been decades since the iconic 90s show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air wrapped. The incredibly talented cast, including the successful Will Smith and James Avery, who unfortunately passed away in 2013, have been up to a lot since then. Let's take a look. You probably know what Will Smith has been up to since he starred as the eponymous Fresh Prince on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Smith got his start in Hollywood on the hit sitcom and went on to be one of the biggest stars in the world. Smith has starred in dozens of films and shows over the decades. Post-Fresh Prince roles include Men in Black, Independence Day, Hitch, Hancock, and Suicide Squad. Smith was also nominated for an Oscar for his role in Ali and for his role in The Pursuit of Happiness. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Smith has been incredibly successful. Celebrity Net Worth estimates his fortune at $350 million. Over the course of his career, he starred in a variety of films across several genres, including romantic comedies and action films. He told Holmes Place about taking on more emotional roles as his career has progressed, saying, "...I'm having more life experiences. They enable me to connect to different, more complex, deeper human emotions." Smith is married to actress Jada Pinkett Smith, with whom he has two children, Jaden and Willow. He also has a son named Willard Smith III with his ex-wife Cherie Zampino. One of the most enduring moments from Fresh Prince is that of Carlton Banks, played by Alfonso Ribeiro, performing what would later become known as the Carlton Dance to the song It's Not Unusual by Tom Jones. The iconic dance was later recreated in 2014 when Ribeiro competed on Dancing with the Stars. Ribeiro went on to win the competition. Ribeiro has also done some acting since his days on Fresh Prince. His acting credits include Extreme Ghostbusters, Are We There Yet?, and Things We Do for Love. Ribeiro has also branched out into directing, beginning with the 1995 episode of Fresh Prince. Ribeiro is perhaps better known, though, as the host of America's Funniest home videos, a role he took over in 2015. Ribeiro is a man of many talents and has been in show business for most of his life. For him, performing is all about enjoying himself. He told the manual, "...my belief is that if it's not fun, why do it?" Tatiana Ali was just a kid when she starred as Ashley Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She's all grown up now and has continued her acting career with great success. The actress has a number of film and television credits under her belt and also became a Hallmark star with the 2018 film Christmas Everlasting. Ali is quite busy outside of acting as well. She is the co-founder of Hazra Entertainment. Ali is also an accomplished singer and Grammy winner. She even has a gold record for Kiss the Sky, her debut album. Ali is also politically active and campaigned for Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Ali is married to Von Raspberry, a doctor. The couple has two children together, Alejandro and Edward. While she's quite busy, Ali wouldn't mind returning to Fresh Prince one day. She said in an interview with Media Village, "...so many shows are back, and I'd love if we came back." The character of Hilary Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was played brilliantly by actress Karen Parsons. The oldest child of the Banks family, Hilary was beautiful but entitled and not exactly the most likable of characters. Parsons later told Today that she couldn't believe audiences hated her character so much. Hilary's personality may have been grating, but it did add to the hilarity of the show. After Fresh Prince wrapped, Parsons kept acting for a few years in shows and films like Melrose Place and The Job. Parsons has no acting credits between 2002 and 2018, when she appeared in the short film on Monday of last week. While Parsons took a long hiatus from performing, she still kept busy, launching a career as a writer. In 2019, her debut middle-grade novel How High the Moon was published. Parsons revealed to BookPage that she's, quote, "...always loved writing." Outside of the arts, Parsons has also been focused on raising a family. She is married to director Alexander Rockwell and has two children. After he ended his time as Jeffrey, the butler of the Banks family on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Joseph Marceau continued to enjoy a prolific acting career. His acting credits include roles in the films and television shows The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, EastEnders, That Samba Thing, and The Man in the Hat. Marcel didn't restrict his acting talents to the screen, though. The Fresh Prince actor has been featured in a number of stage productions. As noted by the Yorkshire Post, he's been in several productions of Shakespeare's plays, including the lead roles in Coriolanus and King Lear. Other stage credits include The Tempest and Lady Windermere's Fan. Marcel made his Broadway debut in 2010 starring in A Free Man of Color. While he's portrayed dozens of different characters since Jeffrey, it's still arguably his most recognizable role. He told the stage, "...every day somebody reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air." Daphne Reed may not have been on Fresh Prince when the show first aired, but she became an indispensable part of the show when she replaced Janet Hubert as Anne Vivian in its fourth season. "...it's something different about you." <laughs> Taking over the role was a pleasure for Reed, who told Black Girl Nerds that the first episode she appeared in was her favorite, as her introduction as Amphibian was so well-written. She shared, "...I enjoyed jumping into that already-running train and hanging on." After Fresh Prince wrapped, Reed continued her successful acting career in shows and films like Lynx, Alley Cat Strike, Eve, Let's Stay Together, Out of Gas, and Jacqueline and Jilly. Reed's career has gone far beyond acting. As she notes on her website, she's also a photographer, author, and designer who has published several books, including a cookbook memoir called Grace, Soul, and Motherwit. Reed is married to actor and director Tim Reed. 
Things may have gone well for the second actress to play Aunt Vivian, but Janet Hubert, the original actress to portray the role, didn't have as much luck. While she did have some roles after leaving Fresh Prince, including Parts in the Job, One Life to Live, and General Hospital, her career floundered. Hubert spoke to Will Smith as part of the 2020 Fresh Prince reunion special and blamed him for damaging her career. She thought that his claims about how she was difficult to work with tarnished her professional reputation. Hubert explained that she'd been going through a hard time at home, which led to friction on set. Hubert was eventually offered a quote, really bad deal, which she chose not to accept, and instead left the show. Hubert said she, quote, lost everything after that. As reported by Hollywood Life, she told Smith, "...family disowned me, Hollywood disowned me, my family said you've ruined our name, and I wasn't unprofessional on the set." Smith apologized for everything that happened all those years ago on the set of Fresh Prince, saying that he could see now the level of pain and struggle Hubert must have been going through. Ross Bagley joined the cast of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air halfway through the show's run as Nikki Banks, the new baby of the family. Bagley was adorable and precocious, upping the cute factor on set. The role of Nikki isn't the only one Bagley is remembered for, as he also played Buckwheat in The Little Rascals. Bagley may have been a talented child star, but he only had a few film and television credits after Fresh Prince, including Independence Day, Profiler, and Providence. Bagley seems to have found another career after leaving acting. A Facebook page for Bagley says that he was a real estate agent for Keller Williams as of 2017, though the page has not been updated since then. Bagley keeps a relatively low profile these days. Even still, he does occasionally post snippets of his life on Instagram, including footage and photos of the 2020 Fresh Prince reunion, where he seemed to be thrilled to reunite with his on-screen family. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's jazz was played by Will Smith's real-life music partner DJ Jazzy Jeff. While DJ Jazzy Jeff starred in several music videos with Smith before the debut of Fresh Prince, his role on the show was his first real acting gig. While he seemed like a natural actor, he told I Am Hip Hop that he never even wanted to consider acting and that Smith convinced him to give it a go. Fans remember well how Jazz got on Uncle Phil's nerves and was constantly being thrown out of the house. After Jazz got thrown out of the house for the last time, DJ Jazzy Jeff could have continued his acting career, but Fresh Prince remains his only acting role. As he explained to I Am Hip Hop, he received a lot of offers but, quote, turned them all down in order to focus on his music career. Nia Long is best remembered as Will Smith's girlfriend Lisa Wilkes on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Long portrayed the role from 1994 to 1995, taking part in some of the best and worst episodes of Fresh Prince. Long has enjoyed a lengthy career since leaving Fresh Prince. Her film and television credits and starring on the show include The Best Man, The Secret Laughter of Women, Big Mama's House, Third Watch, Big Shots, House of Lies, Hand of God, Dear White People, Empire, and The Banker. Long has also turned towards production, beginning with the 2020 film Fatal Affair. Long is using her platform to speak out against racism in the acting industry. She told Insider, "...I am not interested in the old Hollywood ways that perpetuate stereotypes and segregation." Vernay Watson may not have been in many episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but who could forget the woman who played Will Smith's mom, Viola? Watson played the woman who sent Will to stay with his aunt and uncle in 15 episodes of Fresh Prince over the years. While her part was memorable, it was just one role in more than 100 for Watson. The acting veteran has been racking up credits since 1970. Since Fresh Prince, Watson has been seen in a number of notable shows and films, including Sister, Sister, The Young and the Restless, Antoine Fisher, Days of Our Lives, Suit Up, Two and a Half Men, The Big Bang Theory, General Hospital, and Bob Hart's Abishola. Watson chalks up her long career to her sense of professionalism. She told Soap Opera Digest, "...on set, I would always try to know my lines, pay attention to direction, hit the right marks and just not waste time, get my check and then see you later." The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had some memorable guest stars over the years. One of the most notable was Tyra Banks, who actually made her acting debut on the show. Before her arc as Jackie Ames, Banks had only been in a handful of music videos. Her role on Fresh Prince was the start of what would be a successful acting career for the supermodel. Banks now has many acting roles under her belt, including Higher Learning, Love Stinks, Love and Basketball, Life Size, Coyote Ugly, Felicity, and Blackish. Banks is also known for judging America's Next Top Model and hosting The Tyra Banks Show, as well as America's Got Talent and Dancing with the Stars. In fact, Banks has become so well-known as a television personality that many know her for her presence on the screen rather than on the runway. And Banks couldn't be more thrilled about it. She told The Guardian, "...thank God they know me as more than just being a mannequin." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.